Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Farming in La Forge. So this is our mash. So the mash is 17% protein, but it's low in energy. So as for our winter crop, the first thing we are sowing is whole crop silage. We will be sowing about 36 hectares this year. back in my workshop so it's not fully set up yet however I have got electricity and I set up a little light just there so this here is the Ford 7000 it's got a bit dusty from cut the other ones how's it going everybody welcome back to another video if you uh, enjoy our content then uh, don't forget to like and subscribe keep strapping up so um yeah they're rocking around a fair bit on the way down three lines of bales in here and uh, it's quite good so um we'll be using the good old reliable map bro all right guys how's it going i've just dropped my first load of straw off james is ahead of me so he's done more than i've done one Hello, how are we doing? Welcome back, happy Sunday. Okay, so it's actually a couple of days later as with farming, you don't always get all your jobs done. So if you know about foot bathing, you know that you generally put in your water and your active agent or your chemical compound or disinfectant or whatever you're gonna use. And generally we use copper sulfate here. We think it makes a good job disinfecting the cow's feet and killing any digital dermatitis that the cows might have. So some of the biggest problems we face whenever we're putting cows through a foot bath is contact time. Contact time is basically the amount of time that the cow's foot spends in contact with the active agents in the foot bath. <laughs> Right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So this morning's job is Operation Get the Tup Out. I've got my other half coming to give me a hand in a bit, which is awesome because working with sheep, it's so much easier when there's two of you. We do, yeah, we do get on well with it, but like I say, it's the cleaning, cleaning down, isn't it, that gets... Uh... Clean down afterwards? <laughs> yeah. We had this combine in 2012. 2012, yeah. And that was the wettest year for a long time. And I didn't got this stuff. There's a the photo hanging on the wall. There's, tram, there's water in the tram lines. I think it was, uh, it was mum or somebody took the photo. It's coming down a tram line and there's just sitting water in it. This morning I've got the John Deere 827TR in the workshop. Um, I'm going to do an oil change, um, an oil filter change, and also give her a bit of a grease up as well. Good morning and welcome to another video and it's, this is going to be a summary of what's been going on at Dale Farm for the last seven days so I hope you will enjoy. It's one of these machines that Ted's and rolls up. It actually rolls up better than it uh, Ted's, but it's uh, it does the job anyway. But it does make a very good job of rolling up. There's a nice crop in this field, and there's about 25 big bales, and they sort of they are big bales. They're not uh, lightly packed, so I was very pleased with that. It's frosty. Everything is sparkly and twinkly and glowing and beautiful. And can you tell that I just love? this kind of weather is my absolute favourite. Got a little bit of ice on the ponds and on the trough. And it's just absolutely stunning.
no farmers, no food, no future. So I'm just not sure where, still deciding where to stick it at the moment. All right, guys, welcome back to a dusty Wednesday afternoon on the farm. Moving bales, uh, lots of work in the grain store, cleaning out the bins. I've cleaned out, every, all eight of those bins are cleaned out now. The sun's out. Obviously the wet ground's still wet, but it's just nice to see the sun. Makes things feel a bit fresher. Go for it. I'm chopping the headland. All right, we'll rev it up. 970. Drop her down. The hill master on. Right, so um, just want to adjust the straw chopper a little bit. It's not chopping the straw very well. Yeah. The look of concentration on all your faces. <laughs> Shut up, bro! What are you concentrating? How? Oh. I am concentrating. Wood yeah. Harvest 2020 finished. We got to use our new machine. The Saint Massey 711 Padilla Harvester had a bit of crack with it. It's actually quite fun to use, so it is. Ready to pick a few acres for next I am year? Not going at the end ever again. <laughs> Too much pressure, is it? Yeah. yeah. Especially when everybody decides <laughs> to stop and it all just, just went. <laughs> <piles on. laughs> I just <laughs> stopped it and I brought it all in. That's why all the stones went into yeah. it. Yeah. Well, nobody helped me, so I was like, you can have it all. Now watch, some of the bags are ripped. Don't spill them. Bro, there's a nice small bag for you. Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. I am now just loading up round bales to go and deliver them. What is it with people and tractor indicators. What don't they understand about tractor indicators? I really hate about days like this. I don't know if anyone else finds this. You have to literally remember your yard by memory because it's so grey, all the mirrors are like covered in water. There's drizzle coming in everywhere. That's the bloody way. Well, actually, Cornwall. We can't call Cornwall Devon, bloody hell. You lot of lint me down here, wouldn't you, hey? Right, so today we are taking a soil sample with our poppy from Four Farmers. Right, the bottom bit is grass and that's whole crop there. Right, so we've got our two samples. What we have taken is second cut grass soilage that was on top of the whole crop. Um, and our, well, we call it whole crop. Um, it was intended to be arable silage, but because we were a little bit late, it has got grain in it, so it's now become barley whole crop. Um, so Poppy will now send this off to the lab to be analysed. Um, and when this comes back in a few weeks' time, what Poppy's agreed to do, um, she's going to talk us through the, the results, the analysis. The computer will tell us. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll put it the, through the laptop. Yeah, and the, and the computer tells us what we need to do. Yeah, and we'll then just we, keep we, it, we ignore it and do what we want to do anyway. So, so we're already looking at the winter ration now. The yeah. aren't in yet, but we're just... That we're just, obviously, you see, we just started buffer feeding the clamp a little bit. Right, muckers. So, mystery tractor. Gone and got this little grey Fergie, uh, which is actually red there with red MF35 mud guards. Well, as I said, for me, this is very, very interesting. It's the analysis of oil. And that can be found in an engine or a transmission or a gearbox driving a pump or a compressor. The Bobcat, as we said, is you know lifting up full height, which is a uh, good clearance of three Heston bales. You can stack them three high, and obviously that's with no back plate or anything like we said. Uh, same with the JCB there, but the JCB, as I say, just you know another bale higher and a bale further back. 